the final conclusion of this dunya will be what? The trumpet. The trumpet. And this is something that is very explicit in the Quran and Sunnah. وَيَوْمَ يُنْفَخُ فِي الصُّورِ وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ This is very explicit. And the day, the sur, what is the sur? The sur is literally a trumpet. It is something that you blow into and that uh, uh, voice amplifies to the sound of a trumpet. This is a sur. And uh, as you know, the Yehud, they have the sur as their religious symbol of calling people. That thing that you blow into, it is something that they consider to be sacred and holy. And that's why if you go and visit the house of an Orthodox, whatnot, they will find, you will find this as an icon of their faith. It is something that goes back to other faith traditions as well. Now, Allah Azza wa Jal mentions that the blowing of the trumpet will be something that is very sudden. People will not expect it. وَمَا أَمْرُ السَّاعَةِ إِلَّا كَلَمْحِ الْبَصَرِ أَوْ هُوَ أَقْرَبِ The affair of the judgment day is like the twinkling of an eye or even faster than that. And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Hadith is in Muslim Imam Ahmad and other books as well by the way, the trumpet will be blown. And as soon as people hear it, everyone will turn to face the direction of the sound. So the trumpet will be blown and all of mankind will look to where that sound is coming from. And he said, the first person to hear the trumpet will be a man who is busy repairing the tank that is meant to supply water to his camels and he will fall dead. And the people will start falling dead after him. So the Prophet told us the first person to hear the trumpet will be the one who's preparing the pool for the camels, you know. Now, putting everything together, these must be the people that are fleeing the fire from Yemen and they're already in a sham. You, there's no other way to put it all together. They're all walking towards Sham, the fire is behind them, and now this is happening. And this is taking weeks now, because if from walking from Yemen to Sham, it will take a while. And therefore, in the course of this, things will happen. So, another hadith seems to say that at some level, life is almost, almost back to normal, as normal as normal can be when you're fleeing a fire, but you're still walking for weeks on end. The Prophet wasallam said, the hour will not occur, Except that a man has put a cloth in front of him to sell it, but he will not be able to sell it or fold it up. The transaction has been done, but the cloth will not be sold. The hour will not be established until a man has milked his she camel and has taken away that milk, but he will not be able to drink it. The hour will not be established until a man is repairing a tank for his livestock and the water for his animals, and he will not be able to pour the water for his animals. The hour will not be established until a man raises a luqma of food to his mouth, and before the luqma reaches his mouth, he will not be able to eat it. This is a hadith that is very, very explicit, and it shows us what it shows us that the qiyamah and the trumpet will be sudden now if you look at all of these examples especially the first one buying and selling a garment life has come to some sense of normalcy people have to buy and sell even as they're walking for many days and weeks so from this we seem to 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 infer that the qiyamah will be an absolutely sudden experience no one will be able to predict the trumpet being blown. And life will almost resume to semi-normal. People will be eating and drinking. People will be buying and selling. People will be milking the camels. And then the trumpet will be blown. And the trumpet will cause all of mankind to die. Will anyone be safe from this? The Quran mentions an istithna. What's next? There is an exception. What is this exception? This has caused a lot of ikhtilaf. And we do not know because our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Hadith is Sahih Bukhari. When the Qiyamah trumpet is blown, the second one, and I come to 
I will find Musa ahead of me, holding on to the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now listen to this. And I do not know, did he wake up before me? Was he resurrected before me? Or is he one of those whom Allah azza wa jalla said about illa ma sha'a rabbuk? And his first falling down counted for this one. What was his first falling down, his first fainting? When he asked to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet said, La adri, I do not know. Is he one of those that the exception is for? So, if the Prophet does not know who the exception is for, do you think there's any point in me and you discussing it? End of story. There will be some groups of people. Now, our scholars, this hasn't stopped them and they love to discuss, mashallah, tabarakallah. Some of their views make sense. For example, some of the makhluqat in the heavens, the angels, the trumpet might not necessarily affect them. So it's going to affect us in this world. This seems to be the case. Now we also know that the one who will blow the trumpet is Israfil. Jayid. Israfil is not mentioned in the Quran. What is mentioned in the Quran? The trumpet will be blown into. This is what is mentioned. وَيَوْمَ يُنْفَخُ فِي الصُّورِ So someone is blowing into the trumpet. The name is not mentioned. One could say he is implied. Fair enough. But he is not mentioned by name. That's very clear. How do we know therefore that Israfi will blow the trumpet? From hadith literature. From his hadith. Is Israfi mentioned in the hadith? Yes, definitely. Allahumma rabba Jibra'il wa Mika'il wa Israfil. This is mentioned, for example. One dua. And in another hadith, famous hadith, the Prophet said, it is in Sunan al Tirmidhi. How can I relax? How can I relax when Israfil has raised the trumpet to his lips and he is looking at the Arsh direction? Waiting for the command to come to blow. This hadith is authentic in Tirmidhi. How can I relax when Israfil has raised the trumpet and he's just waiting for the command to come and blow? How can I relax? How can I just take it easy when this has already happened? And one can say this is also one of the precursors of Judgment Day, but this is in the other world, not in our world. This is the world of the angels. In the world of the angels, there are some signs of Judgment Day. One of them, at some point in time, Israfil raised the trumpet and took the breath in. Now he's waiting for the breath to come out. And Israfil can hold as long as he wants. So how close are we? So the Prophet is saying, how can I? How can I? The hadith in Musadrak al-Hakim, the Prophet said that Israfil is staring at the throne and he has not blinked for so long that his eyes are now glazed like glass out of fear that if he blinks, he'll miss the command. So this is a sign in the world of the angels that judgment day is close. So the trumpet will be blown and فَصَعِقَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ رَضِ إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ وَمَا قَدَرُ اللَّهُ حَقَّ قَدْرِهِ وَالْأَرْضُ جَمِيعًا قَبْضَتُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَالسَّمَاوَاتُ مَطْوِيَّاتٌ بِيَمِينِهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى ونفخ في الصور فصعق من في السماوات ومن في الأرض إلا من شاء الله ثم نفخ فيه أخرى فإذا هم قيام وأشرقت الأرض بنور ربها ووضع الكتاب وجيء بالنبيين والشهداء وقضي بينهم بالحق وهم لا يظلمون 
ووفيت كل نفس ما عملت وهو أعلم بما يفعلون وسيق الذين كفروا إلى جهنم زمارا حتى إذا جاء وقال لهم خزنتها ألم يأتكم رسل منكم يتلون عليكم آيات ربكم يتلون عليكم آيات ربكم وينذرونكم لقاء كلمة العذاب على الكافرين قيل ادخلوا أبواب جهنم خالدين فيها خالدين فيها فبئس مثوى المتكبرين وسيق الذين اتقوا ربهم إلى الجنة زمرا حتى إذا جاءوها وفتحت أبوابها وقال لهم خزنتها سلام عليكم طبتم فادخلوها خالدين وقالوا الحمد لله الذي صدقنا وعده وأورثنا الأرض نتبوأ من الجنة حيث نشاء فنعم أجر العاملين وترى الملائكة حافين من حول العرش يسبحون يسبحون بحمد ربهم قضي بينهم بالحق وقيل الحمد لله وقيل الحمد لله رب العالمين